Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. And today I have my Happy Planner Horizontal Layout. Um, this planner is used for um, my full-time job and it's really just used as um, like a to-do list for each day of the tasks that I, that I need to, to get done that day. And um, I have never filmed um, decorating this planner before um, because like I said, it really just is a whole bunch of to-dos. Um, but I thought today that maybe we will go ahead and um, film decorating it. Um, so I have uh, Roy G. Biv Boxes and Florals Volume 4 by Kelva Plan. And uh, what I was thinking that I would do is just uh, maybe put uh, like rainbow florals along the spine um, and like in this section. Now because I use this um, as like my work to do's, um, I really need like all of the functional space in like Monday through Friday and then Saturday, Sunday and notes like this section I don't use at all um, because I am not working those days. So um, I don't I don't need that space. So I tend to decorate very light um, on the Monday through Friday and then this section right here I decorate a little bit more. Um, so let's see how this goes. Um, so I started off with red. Now we're gonna pick um, an orange floral that we can put um, in here. And how about we go with like this one? This one has like a little bit of the red in it too. There we go. And then maybe I'll bring in one more smaller one like right here. Now because these stickers are clear, they um, they layer really well. Um, now as I'm looking at that, this is like a lot of red and not very much orange. So I might bring in a little bit another floral that um, is a little heavier on the orange like maybe this one. I'm gonna go ahead and white out um, Saturday, Sunday, and notes. Okay, now this book, I love the yellow in this book. It's um, sunflowers, which are super pretty. So um, we will pick maybe like this one. I think that's a good one. Yeah, maybe we can put that like here. Okay, next up is green, and this book has these like um, succulent green uh, florals in here, which I think are really cool. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so Tuesday, um, October 10th is uh, World Mental Health Awareness Day. Um, and so it's a really a good time to reflect. Um, I have definitely been reflecting quite a bit um, recently just with, you know, my paying attention to my own mental health and making sure that, you know, I'm doing the things that I need to do to take care of myself. And okay, so I think this is coming out pretty. So um, I have... The color's kind of going down the spine and now I think I'll just maybe um, pull it in here along the bottom. Um, should I wipe this out? I think so. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna cut this part off. Oops, I just cut my page a little bit, that's okay. 
Um, so like I mentioned, this planner is um, my work planner. It's actually not even a planner that I um, that I keep. All of my other planners um, I keep so that I can look back on them. But since this one is strictly uh, just a list of to-dos for work, um, not something that I really need to, to look back on to remember. Um, so this planner does just get, um, get tossed at the end of the month. Um, and so when I'm thinking about decorating it, which is another reason that I don't, um, that I don't usually film these videos is that, uh, because I'm not keeping it, like, yes, I want it to be pretty when I'm using it during the week. And, um, you know, that's why I do decorate it to begin with, but, um, I don't, decorated in such a way uh, that I try and make it as pretty as it can be, if that makes any sense. I think this one is coming out nice though. Put this right here, this little scrap. Okay, and then I think there are two more. Yes, there are two more um, sets in here and I haven't been showing you as I'm going. This is the... Um, I guess it was red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. That was the indigo, and this is the violet uh, color. So we have the violet one. And then this book also has like kind of a bonus, um, a bonus color, which is like this blush, blush color, which is really pretty. So maybe we'll put that one that one like maybe here and then maybe I'll bring it up there a little bit. So you can put this one like right there. Uh, so next I'm gonna just put some bullet points in Monday through Friday and then maybe a few more decorative touches. And then um, in this planner, I always put washi along uh, the lines in here. Um, I don't know, adds a little, a little something. Um, okay, so I think what I will do is, I'm debating if I should go like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, um, maybe we'll do, we'll skip one of the colors because I want to get purple in here because purple is my favorite color. Uh, so these bullets um, are pretty big and because there aren't, um, there's only three of each color and I don't want to use a whole bunch of different colors, what I might do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what I might do is just take three of them. Um, it looks like there's two sets of each color. I might cut them in half and do like half bullets. So I'm just cutting the bullets in half with my scissors um, and gonna use tweezers. To put them in here. I probably strive for um, the least amount of perfection in this planner. Um, you know, none of my planners are perfect, but uh, this one, this one, I give myself quite a pass on. Because, um, as I mentioned, I don't even, I don't even keep it. Okay, so there's Monday. Um, I'm going to do Tuesday through Friday. Um, and because this process takes a little while, I'll just do that um, and uh, off camera and I will come right back. Okay, so I finished with the bullets. Um, and as I was putting these purple ones here, um, I feel like I might wanna switch them out for red. I, it, I feel like it looks weird to have purple here right next to the red. So I might end up switching that out. I'm not totally sure yet. Um, I also have daily florals and in here there's some like black quotes and they're kind of big quotes. So I thought that would be good to put um, in the middle to take up some of the space. There's the one, this one that says nothing is impossible. The world itself says I'm possible. Um, I feel like that's a good reminder. Okay, so maybe we'll put this 
like in the middle. Uh, maybe we'll do two quotes. Maybe I'll put this one here. Okay, now I know this is kind of a random, but what if we put like a girl sitting on a chair reading a book over here? Is that like way too super random? Um, I think I might just do it. Why not? I'll put this like here. And then maybe I can put like a pile of books next to her. Just to kind of fill that space up a little bit. So maybe I'll just continue. I'll put a little bit more of this like blush color in there. Like maybe this one. Just like that. There, I like that. Oh, now this space feels a little empty to me. So these are from a different uh, like set in here, but maybe I can put like this there. I think that would work. Kind of put this right here. Okay, I'm gonna switch these bullets out because um, it just, to me, it just looks weird to have those purple ones there. So let me switch those out. Okay, I think that that looks a little bit better. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, washi in here to separate the days of the week. And I do this um, every week. I don't know why, I guess it just helps to, I guess sort of make it feel finished, I don't know. Um, but I like how it, how it looks to have the washi in between each day. All right, what do we think? I think it looks nice. Um, I'm gonna cut the, pages apart now. There we go. Now I just need to um, to punch them. All right, so I've cut the pages apart um, and I've punched the holes. I do have this scrap and I'm noticing this space here that's a little bit empty. So what if we like put this here? Now I feel like that needs just a teeny tiny little floral to kind of uh, finish that spot. Maybe like that. All right, so this is my horizontal spread for the week of October 16th through the 22nd. I covered up the date, so I forgot what it was. Um, I like how it came out. It's um, decorated, but there's still all the room for me to write what I need. Um, and decorating the spine is a really good way to add some color and some fun on the page. Um, even if you still need all the other space to be, you know, completely functional. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did, if you could hit that thumbs up button, um, and if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be great. And I will see you next time. Bye.